So you've just seen a couple examples of how we're advancing LabVIEW FPGA technology on Compact Rio and now for real-time Ethernet I.O. But we continue to advance FPGA technology on PXI and on standard PC buses. And to talk more about our latest products in this area, please welcome product manager Chris Delvisis. Morning, Chris. Thanks, John. So earlier today, you heard about our new X-Series data acquisition boards for PCI Express. We're also leveraging the dedicated bandwidth of PCI Express for our FPGA-based reconfigurable I.O. Today, I'm excited to announce new R-Series multifunction Rio boards for PCI Express. The four new boards feature eight analog inputs, eight analog outputs, 96 digital lines, and a high-performance Xilinx Vertex 5 FPGA. So John, you're in marketing now, but you were an engineer at some point, right? Well, Chris, I appreciate you bringing that up. Yes, I was a electrical engineering graduate right here in Austin, University of Texas. All right. So you understand, as engineers, sometimes we just got to take cutting edge technology and have a little fun. Yeah, I think we understand that. We've had samurai weapons and robots with knives. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but what's better than taking an FPGA, a high powered laser, and making something so cool, so awesome, that no one would ever actually do it in real life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Let's see what you got. All right, hit the lights. So this is our Rio laser harp, where a traditional harp instrument is played by plucking strings. We've obviously replaced the strings with laser beams. We're using a new PCI Express R-Series multifunction Rio board combined with a $400 PC, and we've created a high-speed laser control system. The R-Series board controls a tiny mirror that quickly rotates and reflects the laser into each beam position. And to detect when a beam is broken, the R-Series board also measures light intensity from a single photosensor. Well, Chris, if you only have a single sensor, how then are you able to detect the different notes? That's the power of the FPGA, John. To better explain, let's slow it down a bit. You can see that when we slow it down, each beam of light is actually only on for one instant in time. And using the onboard processing capabilities of the R-Series board, we can synchronize that instant in time with the measurements from the photosensor and provide feedback on the fly to play the corresponding note. Well, that's great, Chris. It looks like an excellent demonstration of the kind of processing that can be done on FPGA technology. Thank you very much. <laughs> 